Is it your turn to run PRT, but you don't know all the drills? Then stick around because I have an easy way for you to remember them and crush your PRT session. So let's go. Roger, sorry. All right, guys, so welcome back to Roger Sarn, where we talk all things Army. And today, I'm going to walk you through a PRT session. I don't want to waste you guys' time anymore, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is called, this is a short class, if you will, called PRT Explained with Mnemonics. Mnemonics just means that you're going to substitute that exercise with a word that triggers the exercise name, okay? First thing you're going to do when you get to a PRT session you're going to have them in formation and you want to do what is called extending the formation and you extend the formation in order to create space. And when you're creating space, you're going to offset them so that no one bumps into each other because we're going to be on the ground facing up or facing down and we don't want everyone bumping into each other. So we extend the formation. And when you look at the command, you're going to see the beginning of the command and then you're going to see a comma and then you're going to see the next part. So that's all called the preparatory command with the command of execution. So for instance, when we start off, it's extend to the left, preparatory command, march, command of execution. Then we move into arms downward move, then we go left face, extend to the left, march, arms downward move, right face, from front to rear count off, and this is just going to identify who's going to be offsetting. Even numbers to the left uncover. So if you have eight ranks, two, four, six, and eight are going to offset. You start off with the preparation drill. And the preparation drill has 10 exercises. And if you'll notice, it says slow on some of them, on most of them. And then it says moderate on two of them, which are the high jumper and the push up. That just means that your count is going to be faster. The slow ones, you're just going to have a subtle pause. The 10 exercises are the bend and reach, rear lunge, high jumper, rower, squat bender, the windmill, forward lunge, prone, and row, prone row, bent leg body twist, and the push up. And in order to remember that, you just say, be right here real soon. We found privates behind Popeyes, right? So that's kind of like an easy, universal way that I've seen in many places that many students will remember that, especially when I was teaching at BLC. This is something that we will put out and students would remember that, remember it that way, especially if they get caught up. Because this is not a substitute for you not knowing the PRT session. This is just to trigger what you don't remember at that moment. The next um, drill is the shoulder stability drill. And this one I think is very simple because they're all raises. It's the I raise, T raise, Y raise, L raise, and W raise. And that's just, I talk, you listen willingly. Super simple. The very first letter of the mnemonics is gonna be the letter of the raise that you're gonna do. Next thing is gonna be the hip stability drill. And these are the lateral leg raise, medial leg raise, bent leg raise, single leg tuck, and the single leg over. Now the single leg over is universally known for people taking that 20 to 30 second nap. But in order to remember this drill, you would just say, let me buy some stuff. The conditioning drill has five exercises. And these are gonna be the power jump, V up, the mountain climber, leg tuck and twist, and the single leg push up. And that's just Popeye values money like silver. Just to touch up on the leg tuck and twist, if you're the PRT leader and you take your time getting up, people are gonna get pissed at you. <laughs> and that's just because you have to keep your legs six inches off the ground. And after doing five to 10 reps of the leg tuck and twist, if you know, you know, those three seconds that you may take to get up, it's a long ass time. All right, so moving into conditioning drill two, that's going to be the turn and lunge, supine bicycle, half jack, swimmer, and the eight count push up. And this is, this set has some eight count push ups. Super simple. And then we have the MMDs, military movement drills. And this is drill one. It's simple, it's three exercises verticals, laterals, shuttle sprints. And that's very little sleep. And that's what the troops got at, B at BLC because they were up studying all night. So. They had very little sleep when it came to their um, time to do their PRT session for grading. And the next one, MMD2, Military Movement Drill 2, is going to have the power skip, crossover, and the crouch run. Again, three exercises, very simple to remember. And this is practice, customs, and courtesies. Because while they were practicing for their PRT session, they also had to practice 
um, drill and ceremony, right? And then you have the recovery drill. This is it. It's a, you are done with your session. And this one has um, the overhead arm pull, the rear lunge, the extend and flex. It has the thigh stretch, the single leg over. And then as of a few, I think a couple years, um, 2021, if I'm not mistaken, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, the groin stretch, calf stretch, and the hamstring stretch. And these are old school, like the the groin, the calf stretch and the hamstring stretch standing. We do it sitting, but those are kind of like, it brings me a flashback. But this one's um, officers really enjoy to show great confidence here, right? Let's throw the O's in there. You know, we can't always talk about us, you know, the list. Let's throw some O's in there. So this is another way that you can remember this part. And then because you have to bring the formation back to where it was, this original standing, all you have to do is say, assemble to the right, march. And then you're done. Hopefully you guys learned something for this and you guys can use this for your PRT sessions. If you want to know more or if you have any other subjects that you want me to cover, you can email me at rogersarnt at gmail.com. Um, you can follow me on IG. You can, um, is it follow on IG? Yeah, you can follow me on IG. You can friend me on Facebook and you can friend me on TikTok. You can see some episodes from my podcast on uh, Buzzsprout. And remember, you don't have to embrace the suck if you got the right tools in your ruck. Roger, sorry!